difficult holiday. They can't provide a meal for themselves, and they don't have a home. Soup kitchens across the county will be feeding dozens a traditional Thanksgiving dinner with all the trimmings. Stephanie Golden joining us now to tell us how volunteers are serving up more than a meal. Stephanie, good morning. Good morning, Mark. Now, Thanksgiving is a day to be grateful for what you have and to think about giving back to others. Dozens of volunteers have been working for days at St. Peter's Kitchen, roasting turkeys, making green bean casserole, and getting the dressing ready for a sit-down traditional Thanksgiving dinner. The kitchen's director, Patricia Lorenzen, says cooking and serving for more than 100 people is a lot of work, but it's a chance for volunteers to show they care. It's the personal communication between the volunteers and the guests. Um, they have a lot of time to sit and talk with them. They get their food for them. And people feel special because they are being served. A little bit later on in the new cast, I will introduce you to one of the volunteers at St. Peter's. He's a 95-year-old professionally trained chef. Mark? We'll look forward to that. Stephanie, thank you. St. Peter's is located on Brown Street. It will serve its Thanksgiving dinner today, beginning at